Well, hello. So today we're going to respond at something that Scarlett Johansson may or may not have said, and that is whether monogamy is natural or unnatural. So we're going to have this little discussion and hope that Scarlett Johansson joins us and hears this message and, and has, you know, some thoughts and maybe we can get some other celebrities and other individuals to have this discussion about monogamy. Is it natural or unnatural? Now, I think that First and foremost, we want to break down the element of nature. What is, and I want to include the element of spiritual nature, because there's spiritual nature that happens within the construct, construct beyond time and space. If you study uh, reincarnation and those kind of elements, now a person's path may be to reveal light with various different people, and an intense amount of light with various different people. So that person's path may be guided into you know, being with various different people. Now, another individual's path may be guided into one particular individual so they can reveal a great deal of light with that one particular individual. And so, and, and the paths may jump back and forth. So there isn't really, you know, it's, it, it's only the individual in the light of the creator knows that relationship that they're supposed to have at the soul level. Oftentimes the individual doesn't know themselves because, you know, it's about reaching those higher levels of spirituality that you can connect to the light of the creator. That's the spiritual nature from the aspect. Ultimately, we are all one, so there's different paths as to how we achieve that oneness. You know, some people may be having orgies and all of a sudden, you know, talking about the secrets of the universe. And so that reveals a great deal of light. I don't know. <laughs> You know, do you agree? Do you disagree at the bottom section down below? I don't know. Let me know. Or, you know, um, a, a two couples, you know, for instance, I, I use the example of Rob Berg and Karen Berg, you know, they who uh, help, you know, grow the Kabbalah Center. I believe they were the founders of the Kabbalah Center, correct? If I'm wrong, in the comment section down below. But um, they helped definitely, you know, and then Madonna came in on board and all those kind of elements and it just flowered so much in so many different centers and so much transformation in the lives of individuals uh so but those are two those are two people those are two people and there's that spiritual nature so that's from the spiritual nature aspect now let's talk about the element of uh physical physical elements well you have humans to my understanding have the aspects of all different animals without talking about reincarnation because we can if we bring reincarnation to the elements some individuals may have been reincarnation of praying mantises so you know be careful you know or black widows or wolves i don't know or cats you know or dogs who knows so that but again that's if we were talking about reincarnation and the spiritual connection within that individual and the light of the creator but uh, when we're talking about the physical manifestation, different people have different relationships that make them feel like, for instance, for me, I've never been in a long-term relationship. And for the longest time, I didn't really necessarily believe that the lack of, that it was unnatural to, I just kind of like went with what I got, <laughs> you know? And in the process, I think that I definitely help there's two dichotomies it's like when you choose one you can't you know omit the push the other one away so i think that i chose the lack of monogamy and i felt in in my you know now in the age that i am i feel the pain of what i lost you know of what i didn't attain throughout that entire time without you know my longest relationship being like six months six seven months so i think that that i feel that pain i feel that distance so does it, and it hurts from a natural perspective. It doesn't, not even, I mean, of course, the spiritual perspective, but a natural perspective. Now, do other people feel completely different? And it's the complete opposite. People who have been married for a very long time and all of a sudden, you know, they feel like they need to like have sex with a lot of different people. I mean, that's their path within the relationship with the light of the greater. So one, in, an individual can't really say that one thing is natural or unnatural that monogamy is natural or unnatural because you have wolves who mate for life and you have various different animals who mate for lives and you have various different, you have some animals that kill their mates so i think when you look at the concept and within human nature you have various different elements and various different frequencies that can be addressed in various either spiritual or natural or physical manifestation so do you agree do you disagree Scarlett Johansson, have I changed your mind? Uh, what do you think? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below, and I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful year. Take care.